Hello my friends. Today I'm going to do a video about making some cards. Now this, I usually don't do things like this, but Mother's Day is next week. So I am making a couple of cards. One's for my own mother, one's for my sister-in-law that's expecting, and I'm making a backup card for if those two don't turn out. Uh, I've already got this one done. I don't know which, who's gonna get this, but um, my other two are gonna look a little different. Um, yeah, so there's my just some little white flowers in a field. Pretty easy, pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna also going to do one with like those dandelion puff ball type situations. And then another one, maybe Queen Anne's lace. I'm not sure. And I know the thistles around here are starting to come out. Um, this is a mixture of a lot of different water watercolor tutorials that I've seen lately. I'll try to list the artists below that I'm taking in inspiration from to make these. But yeah, it's a, it's a few of them. All right, well, if you're interested in making a couple more cards, I'm not going to recreate this one, but they're going to be in kind of the style and form. All right, the, the uh, materials that I am using. Paint brushes today. I've got my Degato Squirrel Hair. Faumi 12. A Princeton Select Zero. I might have to get out my rigger, but these aren't that big big of cards, so this should do. And then I've got a Princeton Select number three. I got these from a Sketchbox. They're my Strathmore watercolor cards. They work wonderful for these kind of things. Uh, the watercolors I'm using today are going to be from my own palette. It's a mixture. I mean, it's a mixture of a few different things, mainly um, M. Graham, Daniel Smith, and Sennelier. I'm going to need some white I'm using acrylic gouache for my dandelioning and poof balls. I don't know what they're called, but we're going to call them poof balls. And then I also have some titanium white gouache. These two spread differently on wet paper. That's why I'm using two different whites. This is more for little bits of interest and far away white flowers. This is for the poof balls that I'm going to make. I also got out these. These are from Uli Watercolors. Um, these are just fun, and I, gosh, my camera's not even picking them up, so I doubt you're going to pick it up on this card, but I put some of this uh, holographic glittery stuff just to make the flowers shine a little bit. Before we get started, I wanted to point this out. I don't know if I've ever showed this in one of my videos, but I talked about using two different kinds of whites, and... That is because, okay, so here, here here we are. So this is what the gouache looks like. Now this, these were all done. This, this was wet and I did it in different stages. I think it's just a plain Payne's gray in the background. And it was wet when I splattered this on. And these are the different effects that you get from each of these materials. Plain old gouache. Oh, I have to add, I did it in three different stages. So when it was really wet, I did a layer. A few minutes layer, later, I did another layer. And when it was almost dry, I did another couple of drips so we could see all the layering. This is good for snow, flowers, all kinds of things. So here's our, our just normal gouache. They spread out a little bit, not a whole lot. They still They stay kind of compact and you can really tell that the white sticks out through. There's not a lot of color traveling, but if that that this is really good for certain techniques. Now here's the acrylic gouache. That's what we're going to use today. Mine's from Liquitex. This is what we're going to use today for my puff balls. This material really travels in the wet paint, and that's the effect I'm going for today, almost shadowish. I also use Liquitex acrylic ink. That is what this looks like. Really, it's a mixture between these two. Um, it's still slightly tighter than the acrylic wash, but it is still nice and white like the just plain gouache. So, uh, you know, I recommend everybody do this kind of experiment to see what your white materials do on wet paint. 
I found it really interesting. So I keep this up on my desk so I can see, hey, this is what I'm doing today. What kind of effect do I want? And then I choose which white I'm grabbing for. I've decided to do my poof balls. Very scientific on this channel, folks. Very scientific. I'm going to do the poof ball flower thing first. Now, because it's Mother's Day, and this is probably going to make my mother grab her heart. But this is her old um, deviled egg holder that she gave me a very long time ago. And it's very beautiful. It's got gold around the edges. Very beautiful dish. However, in my family, this would never, never go far enough. We like our deviled eggs, and this is not a plate that's going to hold enough for us at dinner time. So I found myself never using it. I thought, how pretty to use this as a watercolor mixing palette. And I can share the beautifulness with all of you. But this is my mom. She gave it to me. So I am going to start using it in other ways and holding deviled eggs. All right, so my first step is I'm going to wet my whole paper. I'm going to do a sky, pretty colors, typical sunset-y type thing. I'm going to make it lighter over here, and I think I'm going to actually lift and make almost the sun shining through over here. So I'm going to do the sky, then I'm going to do a nice bluish green going all the way down, trying to make it darker towards the bottom. I'm going to throw in a couple of clouds while it's wet. Then we're going to go right in to my poof balls. Those need to be put on the paper when the paper is still wet. So this whole process is going to be pretty quick. Uh, grab yourself a beverage. I will put on some music and we'll get this part accomplished. I was going to make some sun rays coming in from this side. I've decided not to for right now. I guess I still can add it later. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to let this dry. This is looking very nice and poof ballish. We've got them fading into the background. I think this is good for now. Okay, so here's my finished second card. I didn't video. I just put in some stems and stuff and darkened it down here. I did something a little special. By the way, uh, I got this from a YouTuber, Christian something, I think he's Swedish. I will list this video either here or down there if I can find it. But I completely followed a tutorial almost on how to make these little things through another YouTuber. Anyway, I did add my own little twist and they're not completely dry. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I have glow-in-the-dark paint on here. So I'm going to show you in a bit. I'm going to charge this in a bright light. And then I'm going to take a picture of this in a dark room. Because I added my own fireflies. It looked like this, you know, it's about ready to get dark. You see some mistiness across this meadow. And I can just picture fireflies. So I'm going to charge this real quick and show you what it looks like in the dark. Isn't that pretty neat? I had to put the glow-in-the-dark paint on pretty thick, so you do see that a little bit, but it's okay. I think it uh, adds a little something-something to it. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to continue on with our puffball theme, and I practiced some dandelions. It uh, This is gouache. Yellow ochre, light ochre, and... Uh, what else do we have here? Lemon yellow. I'm going to make a dandelion in a few different stages with the puff balls and uh, actual dandelions blooming on this next card. And yeah, I, I have no nothing to go off of here. I'm just going to wing it and have fun. 
To make my dandelions, I'm using this really strange looking brush. It's by Artist Loft. It's a filbert. And it's been, gosh, can you see that? That craziness? It makes wonderful, weird marks. Right, here's the finished dandelion painting. I wish I would have had maybe this down farther. The layout isn't the greatest, but um, I think it turned out. I like it. I would just put a little frame around this because it needed something. But my other two cards are already in the mail, probably, or they're supposed to be by now. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. It helps me know what content to post, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!